Welcome to the 2021 Hispanic Heritage Concert of the Department of Music at Alabama State University. We have been doing this concert in person every year since 2012. We are doing it virtual because of COVID restrictions. I am Dr. Adonis Gonzalez, Associate Professor of Piano at Alabama State University, and I will be the master of ceremony for this virtual presentation. In 1968, under President Lyndon Johnson, started the observation of what was then called Hispanic Heritage Week. 20 years later, in 1988, it was expanded by President Ronald Reagan to cover a 30-day period. Since then, Americans observe each year the National Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Speaking of South America, There is a country in South America in which Portuguese instead of Spanish is the official language. I am referring to Brazil. In this concert, we celebrate not only Hispanic but also Latino culture in general. Therefore, we include pieces by Brazilian and Portuguese composers. We start our concert with a Brazilian song that will be introduced by the performer. Hi, my name is Malik Camp, and I will be performing for you a Portuguese song named Ponto Che Exclamação by a young Brazilian artist by the name of Jovim Dionisio. La, 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 la. Você vai dizer quando a foto aparecer Vai curtir e vai sentir que o destino fez nos conhecer A garena larga essa mão O ser nosso da sorte vai levar São João Toda noite eu quero que você Diga que a vida foi feita pra viver Dói o peito só gerar o jeito que tu possa hum, Saudades com toda exclamação Você está maravilhosa La 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 Foto aprumada, respeitosa, pedi sempre por favor Mas toda hoje a implora, foda, fora dessa linha de amor a garena larga essa mão Se nós da sorte vai levar São João Toda noite eu quero que você Diga que a vida foi feita pra viver Dói o peito só gerar o jeito que tu possa hum, Saudades com toda exclamação Você está maravilhosa La 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 la
Wasn't That Fantastic, Mr. Malik Camp is a voice student from the studio of Dr. Cordelia Anderson. Contradanza is the Hispanic version of the Contra Dance, which was an internationally popular style of music and dance in the 18th century, derived from the English country dance and was adopted at the court of France. Those dances made their way to America and they took on folkloric forms in many Latin American countries. In Cuba, where I'm from, in the 19th century, the contradanza became an important genre and the first written music to be based on Afro-Cuban rhythmic patterns. It is my pleasure to accompany my colleague, Dr. Katrina Phillips, in this contradanza by Michel Mangani.
originated at the natural border between Argentina and Uruguay. Yes, Argentina is how we pronounce it. The tango is the result of a combination of, of candombe, which is the music of descendants of liberated African slaves, Argentinian milonga, and Cuban habanera. Let's listen to Dr. Arthur Kimmons performing a tango by the Spanish composer Isaac Albeniz. <laughs> Argentinian composer Astor Piazzolla created a new style of tango. It was called Nuevo Tango, which means New Tango. That new style incorporates elements from jazz and classical music. A perfect example of this is the piece named Oblivion, a beautiful haunting piece that we will hear performed by Mr. John Wade from my piano studio.
One of the greatest works of Spanish literature is Don Quixote. It is considered the first modern novel. It has inspired many composers such, such as uh, Richard Strauss and Maurice Ravel, among many. Let's listen to Mr. Tyrone Hayes and Dr. Christopher Sanchak's rendition of this set of three songs of Maurice Ravel inspired by that literary work.
The Girl from Ipanema and Wave are two of the most well-known Latin jazz standards by the Brazilian composer Antonio Carlos Jobim. Let's listen to both pieces performed by Mr. Patrick McCurry on saxophone and Mr. Isaac Bell on the piano.
dancing is a big part of Hispanic and Latino culture. The word baila means to dance. Let's listen to our professor of percussion, Miss Jessica Williams, in this rendition of Baila by the Mexican-American composer Ivan Trevino. She's not going to dance, but you will be surprised. <laughs> Thank you for watching this concert and many thanks to all the participants for their outstanding performances. I also would like to thank John Wade for editing this video for your enjoyment and I wish you all a wonderful end of the semester. Hasta pronto!